Hey, Dave's a family farmer here. And uh, I was uh, called out to this area because of a bear sighting. Uh, me and Lena. Lena, come here. We're out investigating this area. And uh, Lena's a pretty, she is a very good uh, bear dog. Uh, just in case there was one out here. Uh, I was told there was one here because uh, people saw it. And uh, they were worried about it. And I said, well, it's probably a bear just passing through the area. So uh, <coughs> I told them, you know, within a day or two it'll be gone. I found this feather. Looks like a, it might be a goose feather. But uh, so far, me and Lena have been out here for the last two hours. I have seen no uh, sign of a bear, you know, any uh, urine trees or scratches or anything. It's probably just a male passing through looking for new territory. Uh, Lena, come here. Come here. Come here, girl. How you doing? Huh? How you doing? Anyways, uh, a bear, do you ever, uh, bear, bears are becoming more adaptable to our environment, you know, okay, you guys? Uh, if you see a bear, don't feed it. Don't say, oh, it's a cute, uh, cuddly little thing, because it's not. A bear can, uh, reach up to 500 pounds of pure muscle. They stand, They can stand about five feet, uh, a black bear. And uh, trust me, you do not want to mess around with a female and her cub. Uh, she will attack you and kill you. Yes, she will, and sounds pretty mean, but she will take your head and she will crush it like a pop can. Yes, her draw her jaws are very strong. Uh, so uh, if you ever do wander upon a bear, just back off and get away. Yeah, and you know, call your local DNR or whoever and let them know that you saw one. Uh, bears they double it they doubled or tripled in population over the last 10 years in the whole United States. So, <laughs> they, like I said, they're becoming adaptable. They're learning how to live in our environment. It's not just us. This was theirs first. We decided to move in. Remember that.